It is the 2013 CAA Football Media Day here at m and Bank Stadium. Spiro Maricas, Damon Lewis coming to you. And Damon, the Tigers picked to finish second in the preseason poll behind Villanova. Surprised or not surprised? Not so much surprised. I think everyone kind of expected the Tigers to be at the very least in the top three. If you go back to the game against Villanova last year, it was obviously a very hard-fought game. Game the Tigers won um, at Villanova Stadium, but... I think maybe the difference that, that people may have looked at when comparing Villanova to the Tigers was the fact that Villanova's got a pretty good quarterback in John Robertson. Uh, you know, he was the uh, CAA freshman of the year last year. Uh, he's obviously back for the Wildcats, and the Tigers have some questions at quarterback, although they do return a lot on both offense and defense. They do, and certainly the offensive line is going to be a key for the Tigers with Terrence West, first team All-American. Eric Pike going to lead that offensive line. Eric Pike, uh, a first-team All-CAA selection uh, here today, named, named to the preseason All-CAA first team, along with Randall Harris, um, another of his line mates on that uh, Tiger front five that has just uh, really grown together um, over the last two or three years. Um, Doug Shaw omitted from the first team, which I think came as a little bit of a surprise. But uh, you said it, for the Tigers, especially on offense, uh, that offensive line is going to set the tone in every single game they play. But then defense, the Tigers, both of their cornerbacks, all CAA first-team selections. So that's the, the Tiger defense is certainly going to be a strong point this year also. It should, really should be a, a strong point. You know, coming into last year, no one really knew what to expect from the Tiger defense other than knowing the front four would be good. And you thought, gosh, what's this team going to do with linebacker? Well, there's a reason they brought in Telvin Clark. There's a reason they recruited Brighton Barr. And they also brought in a guy named Monte Gaddis, who ends up being an all-CAA first-team selection here uh, today, a preseason first-team selection who held down the middle for the Tigers. And now you have a linebacking core that's as good as maybe anybody at the FCS level. The Tigers, if you think about it, Damon, they get through those f first five weeks where four of them are on the road. Then, in your final eight games, you've got five at Johnny United Stadium in the key part of the season, which is your conference play. That's what makes the beginning of the season so critical. Um, you know, this team won't take anything for granted. They're going to have to be focused because they're going into to hostile territory, um, with the exception of the Delaware State game, which is the only home, home game in those first five weeks. Um, but what's interesting is once they get into the teeth of CAA play, um, you have a homecoming opponent this year in Villanova, who was picked to win the CAA. So um, that's right smack dab in the middle of the season, and that could be a game that could define the way this season goes for uh, for the Tigers. We've seen them be resilient in years past and, and overcome some odds um, to get where they thought they needed to be. But uh, Boy, if that game wasn't circled already just for the fact that it was homecoming, now it's the preseason favorite coming into Johnny United Stadium on homecoming. Uh, that should be an electric atmosphere that night uh, on Towson's campus. It certainly will be. Homecoming Villanova, you can't ask for more than that. The Tigers also will be taking on Delaware at home this year. Always big to play the Blue Hens. So the Tigers with the CAA Media Day here today, again, just about a month away, August 29th, when they take on the University of Connecticut as they get set to try to become a three-peat. They won outright the CAA championship two years ago. They tied last year with four other schools this year, trying to get the, uh, the three-peat, and I guess we have to pay Pat Riley. <laughs> Something like that. It's going to be fun. We know that, you know, talking to the guys here today, talking to Coach Ambrose, uh, seeing a lot of uh, players and staffers uh, just around the field house on Towson's campus the past couple weeks, you can feel that that momentum building, and uh, they're ready to strap them up. And as Rob Ambrose said earlier today, they're ready to play somebody, but they'll get through camp first. Yeah, the toughest part is going to be those last couple of weeks of camp where they're tired of seeing each other and they want to beat on somebody else, and that will be Connecticut on August 29th. They will get that chance, and uh, can't wait. It's going to be a blast. Can't wait to get going. Every game on the Towson Sports Network this year with Damon, Zach, Ron Meehan, we're all back. Going to be a great season here on the Towson Sports Network. So from M&T Bank Stadium for Damon Lewis, I'm Spiro Maricas on the Towson Sports Network. This time we don't wait. An extreme attention to detail. And a relentless belief in each other.